Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute, super soft turtles. I have them in these three colors, but you can choose whatever colors you like. The stitches you need to know for this tutorial are single crochet, a magic ring, an increase, and invisible decrease. We are also going to do a color change and we'll be working also in back loop only and front loops only. Materials you're going to need are two colors of plush super chunky yarn. I like this Baby Snuggle by Hobby. It's really soft and kind of a microfiber texture. You'll need some safety eyes. I use about 10 millimeters, but you can use bigger or smaller. And then for this super chunky yarn, I use the 4.25 millimeter or G crochet hook. And then a yarn needle. The bent tip ones are generally easier for amigurumi. And then scissors and polyester fill. We're going to start with the front legs and we're going to make two of these. So round one, we're going to do seven single crochet in a magic ring. Once we've done our seven single crochet, we're going to pull the ring tight. And then I like to put a stitch marker in that little last single crochet because that's the end of round one. For round two, we're going to do seven increases. So two single crochet in each stitch of round one. And that brings us to 14 in total for round two. In round three, we do a single crochet and then an increase, and we do that seven times for a total of 21 stitches in round three. For round four, we're going to do two single crochet and then an increase and we're going to do that seven times which will bring us to 28 single crochet in round four. That's the end of round four. Now I'm going to take off my stitch marker and fold the leg in half and I'm going to single crochet across both sides of the top to close the whole piece and I'm going to do this all the way across. You can either tuck in that tail from the magic ring or you can just cut it off. For 
once the leg is closed all the way along the top, we can cut the yarn and pull the tail through. Now for one of the front legs, we're going to take that tail and sew it through to the opposite end of the leg. Now I don't pull it too tight when I'm pulling it through because I want the leg to keep its shape at that end. Just shape it out nicely. So you're going to do that twice and only pull the tail through on one of them and that way you get two symmetrical front legs. So we're going to start with the back legs now. They're nearly exactly the same as the front legs, they're just one round shorter. So instead of four rounds, they're going to be three rounds. In round one, we're going to do seven single crochet in a magic ring. After you've pulled your magic ring tight, we use a stitch marker to keep track and then round two has seven increases which brings you to 14 stitches in round two. For round three we're going to single crochet then increase and we're going to do that seven times. That brings the total of round three to 21 single crochet. So remove the stitch marker at the end of round three and then just like with the front legs we're going to fold it in half and single crochet closed along the top edges. Cut the yarn and pull the tail through and then just like with the front legs on one of the back legs we're going to take that tail and sew it through to the opposite end of the leg to make sure that the two legs are symmetrical. Shape it out nicely. And once you've done that twice, you should have the two symmetrical back legs for the turtles. Next, we're going to start on the head. For round one, we're going to do six single crochet in a magic ring. After you've pulled the ring tight, you can put a stitch marker at the end of round one. And then for round two, we're going to do six increases and that will bring you to 12 single crochet in round two. For round three, we're going to single crochet, then increase, and we're going to do that six times, which will bring you to 18 single crochet in total for round three. For round four, we're going to do two single crochet, then increase, 
and we're going to do that six times in total which will bring you to 24 single crochet. For the next four rounds, so rounds five to eight, we are going to do 24 single crochet in each and I'm going to do this off camera. After you've done your four rounds of 24, your head will look like this. I'm going to attach the safety eyes at this point. So the eyes are attached between rounds four and five, so in this round here. And they will be seven stitches apart. So count seven from the first one. And then insert the second eye over there. I'm going to attach the backs off camera and I'll be back. Now that the eyes are securely attached, we're going to continue crocheting the head. For round nine, we do two single crochet, then a decrease. We do that six times to bring the total to 18 stitches. I prefer to do invisible decreases with Amigurumi as it gives it a much neater finish than a standard decrease. YouTube has plenty of videos on invisible decreases if you don't know how to do it. In round 10 we single crochet then decrease and we do that six times which will bring you down to 12 stitches for round 10. After round 10, we're going to cut the yarn, making sure to leave a long tail And I'm just going to close it with a slip stitch into that next single crochet and then pull it through. I'm going to stuff the head off camera and then be back. Once the head is stuffed, it should look like this. So we're going to put this aside for later. Next up we're going to do the tail. In round one it's four single crochet in a magic ring. For round two, single crochet, then increase, and we're going to do that twice. And then round three and four are just six single crochet around. Finish off with a slip stitch. and we're going to cut the yarn. So now we're going to start with the shell and you're going to do this in a different color from the body. For the first row we six single crochet in a magic ring. 
For this part of the tutorial, I'm going to speed it up quite a bit, but I will keep the pattern text up on top of the screen. So now we've completed six rounds of the shell. And what you're going to do is put a stitch marker in the back loop of that first single crochet from the previous round. It will help us see it later when we're looking for it. For round seven, we're going to do 36 single crochet in the front loops only. So we're going around the entire shell, no increases or decreases, just single crochets all the way around in the front loops. Now for the next round, we're actually going to do a color change to the body color. So I like to do that in the previous stitch. So at this point, I'm going to change over to this beige color that I used for the body. Pull it nice and tight. Now this is where that marked stitch comes in handy. That was the back loop of the first stitch of round six. And that's where we're going to be working this next round. So I'm going into that stitch and I'm actually working over those ends from the color change. You don't have to work over the ends here, you can weave them in later, but I like to do it this way. And for the whole of round eight, we're going to be working in the back loops. In round nine, we're going to be working in both loops again. And this is the round where we're going to create the spaces for the legs and the tail. So first we're going to do three single crochet. And then we're going to do three chain stitches. and then skip the next three single crochet and then seven single crochet stitches
the first leg hole will look like this. Then we chain two. This is going to be a hole for one of the back legs. Skip two stitches and single crochet two. Then chain two again. This is going to be for the tail. Skip two stitches. And we single crochet two. Chain two again, and we're going to skip two, and then seven single crochet. Then for the last leg hole, we're going to chain three, skip three stitches, and do the last three single crochet, which will bring you back to that stitch marker at the end of the round. There should be 36 stitches in total for round nine. In round 10, we are going to start decreasing. So for round 10, it's four single crochet and then a decrease. And we're going to do that six times, which will bring you to a total of 30 stitches in round 10. We are working over those chain stitches from the previous round. So only difference is instead of going into two loops, for a single crochet, we're going to be going into the chain, so one loop of the chain stitch. In round 11, we're going to do three single crochet, then a decrease, and we're going to do that six times for a total of 24. After round 11, we're going to start sewing on the legs and the tail. So I've removed the hook and put a stitch marker in that loop to make sure it doesn't get lost. And we're going to leave our working yarn attached while we sew on the limbs. Now this is the front of the turtle over here. And we're going to plan out our legs. So these are the front legs. And I like to make sure that those single crochets are facing upwards. I think it just looks better that way. And I like to have them facing outwards like this. Back legs, I also make sure that that last single crochet is facing upwards. And I like to have them facing this way. And lastly, the tail is going to go at the back. So for the first leg, it's going in that chain three space, the first one. And 
and I'm going to put the yarn tail through and then push that leg into that chain three space. It should be about this deep in. And now I'm going to start sewing it on. We'll be sewing it in the inside. And I'm just going to bring the tail further down And now I'm going to go from one side to the other through the leg to sew it in place. So I'm starting at the top, you can start at the bottom if you like, and I'm just going into each stitch. After I've sewed it in place, I just like to look along the outside to make sure there's no gaps or holes. And then you can do a few stitches just to secure it on the inside. I just like to tuck the tails in the inside, but you can cut them off if you prefer. Now I'm going to do the second front leg and I'm going to sew it in place exactly the same as I did the first front leg. The front legs should look like this. I have them curving outwards, but as I said earlier, you can have them curving the other way if you prefer. And now I'm going to start on the back legs, once again making sure that those single crochet are facing upwards. And now the last back leg is going to be done exactly the same way. Now it's time to do the tail. So same as the legs, we're going to push it through that little back two chain space hole and sew it in place on the inside. Now that all the legs and the tail are in place, it should look like this. And now we're going to continue crocheting. So insert the hook again and then round 12 is two single crochet and a decrease. And we do that six times 
to bring you to 18 stitches in round 12. In round 13, we single crochet, then decrease, and we do that six times to bring you to 12 stitches. At this point, we're going to stuff the body. So stuff it pretty firmly, not, not so firm that the stuffing shows through, but it should be reasonably firm. In round 14, the last round, we do six decreases. So after the last round, we can cut the yarn and pull it through. I like to close the piece with an ultimate finish. And what that is, is inserting the needle from the middle through those front loops from the last round. So you go through all six stitches and then after you've gone into each one you pull it tight and that closes it off quite nicely. Insert the hook into the center and pull the tail through somewhere else on the body. And I'm going to cut it, but leave it there for now. And I'll tuck that in later. So lastly, we will sew on the head. So I like to pin it in place first, just to make sure that the eyes are centered and the head isn't facing too far up or too far down. Now we are going to sew the head in place. So I like to sew it on using an invisible joining method. So I go under a stitch of the body and then I go from the bottom through a stitch of the head and then down into the next stitch of the head. And then I grab another stitch from the body and up into a stitch of the head and then down into the next stitch of the head and I do this all the way around. There are also a lot of tutorials on doing invisible joins for amigurumi on YouTube. After the head is in place, we can insert the needle under the head 
and bring it through to that same stitch where the other tail is. And then secure these two together with a double knot. And then cut that and insert that little knot into the center of the piece. And that is your turtle completed. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up.